Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lukes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. We are continuing with our study of solutions to systems of nonlinear equations, and we are looking at uh, the Newton Raphson technique for a system of equations. So we are writing our system of equations so that we have n equations and n variables in a form so that they are each set equal to zero. And by using Taylor series, we can create a matrix form here that is a linear system of equations, where each of these is a partial derivative organized so that derivatives with respect to x in the first column with respect to y in the second column. And if we did have more variables, I would do a third column with derivatives with respect to the third variable. My delta x's go here, and then I'm going to have my uh, right-hand sides, my B matrix, and this is going to be actually the negative F1 and negative F2. And this group here is called the Jacobian, and we'll just continue to call this B. We're going to look at an example problem where we actually can solve this analytically. So if we have the system x squared plus xy equals 10 and y plus 3xy squared equals 57, and we want to know the solution here, maybe we did a graph and someone told us or we looked at the graph and said, hey, it looks like the answers are close to 1 and 1⁄2 and 3 and a half. Okay. I'm going to use this and these equations to solve this with newton raphson technique. So first we're going to rearrange our functions so that I have them into the form something that would be equal to 0. So in this case x squared plus xy equals 10 becomes x squared plus xy minus 10 equals 0 and y plus 3xy squared equals 57 becomes y plus 3xy squared minus 57 equals 0. Next, we need to take partial derivatives. So the partial derivative of f1 with respect to x is 2x plus y. The derivative with respect to y will be just x. And I'm going to evaluate each of those at my guess. We'll do the same for the second so those answers are shown here. So the derivative of f1 with respect to x evaluated at our first guess gives me 6.5. The derivative with respect to y is 1.5. And that gives me my first row of my Jacobian matrix. The derivative of f2 with respect to x is 3y squared and that number, the value is 36.75 at my starting guess. And the derivative with respect to y is 1 plus 6xy, and when I substitute that in, I get 32.5. So now let's move over and look at this in Excel. <clears throat> All right, so I have my um, matrix set up. I put in my starting guesses of x and y that could be found from maybe, you know, creating a graph or whatever. Um, I then built my Jacobian, and each of these are done using relative references pointing to cells. And this is my functions. Okay, remember it's the negative of the function, the way I've got them set up for the derivatives. So this would be 10 minus x squared minus xy. And this one is uh, 57 minus y minus 3xy squared. And now I need to find the derivative. The derivative, if I do matrix inverse techniques, I want to start by highlighting the place I want to put the answers. And then the function is MMULT, so matrix multiplication of the matrix inverse. Oh, you've got to be able to spell. Highlight those cells. 
close that parenthesis, comma, and then I'm going to multiply that inverse by my B matrix. Close the parenthesis, control shift enter. This gets me my answers, but remember that in the form these are going to be delta x. And so to get to my new value of x, I'm going to take the delta x and add it to my original value. And I'll do the same for my y. And so I now have a new guess for each of these. Since I did it all with relative references, I can just come in and copy these and do it again and again until you see no change. So this really only took three steps before I got to my answer. So this technique works. It's kind of a little bit of a challenge. And again, this was one where I could take those derivatives. If I can't take them, then I'm going to have to use numerical differentiation techniques. In our next lesson, we're going to look at the Gauss-Seidel method once again, or this successive substitution style technique for this system of equations. Thank you very much for your time.